How Stuff Works recently visited the Suzuki plant in Rome, Georgia to find out how they build their ATVs. Here, sales supervisor Alan Horn takes us on a factory tour. Well, the overall process from start to finish takes uh, about six hours. However, on the assembly line itself, they're moving very quickly. We are actually assembling and rolling one ATV fully complete off the end of the assembly line every 102 seconds. The ATV assembly here starts with us building the frame. This is taking the tube which we've imported from Japan and bending it to the correct shape for use in the uh, welding and assembly of the frame later. After everything in this area has gone through what we call fabrication, we find then that we have the left, the right, the top, and the bottom of a frame. So everything that we've seen in the, the uh, fabrication process now has come to completion and we see the parts hanging on these racks. The gentlemen behind me now are welding together the pieces of the frame. They're using what's called a welding jig, which is like this uh, piece right beside me. It holds the top, the bottom, the left, the right uh, components of the frame together so that they can make the appropriate spot welds in order to hold it all into one frame. Uh, from that point, they're moved along a, a roller bed, which is kind of like an assembly line process where, again, additional spot welds are made to the frame itself before it rolls off the end of the line to be hung on a paint hanging hook. We paint the ATV frames, the actual frame that's, that's holding the ATV together. We paint it. We, uh, we have a process up here we run it through that paints it. And what we do, we run it through a pretreatment system. It's a nine-stage system. Uh, it's got a degreaser and then a zinc phosphate. After it goes through the pretreat, it goes into an e-coat bath. And what it does, the part gets dipped into the paint. It comes out, we bake it in an oven, and then we go around and it gets powder coated on top of that. Over here is our sub-assembly processes. That is parts that we put together prior to delivering them to the assembly line. It speeds up the assembly of the vehicle if these parts are already built. Over here they put together the handlebar assembly because it takes a lot of little parts into it. The cables, the switches, the le uh, drive levers. So that speeds up the line. All they have to do is pick it up and set it over in the frame. Uh, this is the uh, injection molding where we make the fenders. That's a, a very big machine. Uh, this is uh, one of the largest machines in the southeast United States. And in that machine we have uh, uh, 3,300 tons of pressure squashing together the uh, melted resin and then just a, a few seconds later opening up to pull out a completed fender. This is all done robotically. It's pulled out by a robot and uh, You'll see the arm reach in, lift the fender out, and drop it onto a conveyor belt. Once the frame is complete and the fenders are complete, we then move the frame to the assembly line, and from that point we begin to attach the components. These components are, of course, things like the engine, the wiring harness, the handlebars, and uh, the transmission. And uh, as it moves down the assembly line, next we attach the fenders and other related pieces. Of course, an ATV won't run without gasoline, and before we take it down to the end of the line for the uh, testing there, we need to put gasoline. In the tank, we use this uh, gasoline filling station here. Altogether, we're using anywhere between 200 and 300 gallons per week testing our ATVs here. Uh, basically, this is a second online inspection position. What he's looking for is uh, any missing loose fasteners or uh, wrong labeling, loose carrier bolts, and basically we inspect all ATVs from a customer standpoint. So here the ATV has been supported by a jig the entire time it's moved down the assembly line. We need some way to get it off of that jig and so we use this seesaw system here rather than a crane to lift it off. Uh, of course the engine is operating and exhaust fumes are coming out of the back of the engine so uh, an exhaust uh, gas catcher is popping up now on this sucks the gas out of uh, the air right there and uh, draws it through a ventilation system to outside. Uh, the full speed, top speed of these is, is somewhere around 50 miles an hour, but uh, the operator doesn't necessarily take it all the way up to top speed. Instead, what he's doing is checking uh, to make sure that all the gears are operating correctly. He also checks the brakes, the uh, registration of the speedometer, the lights. After the units come off of the drum test, any leftover fuel that's in the fuel tank is siphoned out and sent back to the main storage tank, and it's lifted up by an electrically assisted crane and lowered onto uh, this pallet. 100% of our uh, production is uh, order made. We take orders from our customers five months in advance of the actual production. And customers are ordering uh, 
several hundreds of units at a time. So that's how building a Suzuki ATV works.